What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's do some shelling in this giant pile of micro shells right here. Check it out. There's tons. Let's do it. Ooh. Carrier shell number two. For the day anyway. Wow. I love them so much. Guys, you're gonna want to see this. This is the first shell find of the day. Just arrived at the beach here, as you can see. We're right at the front here. What I originally saw was this uh, big old moon snail right next to a bunch of anemones, which is pretty cool. Wow, that is huge. Nice, beautiful shell, as always. All right, but then what I saw was hopefully, hopefully a whole spotted paper fig. Let's check it out. What is chilly today? Yes! Oh man, how cool is that? The first shell finds of the day. And we've already got a spotted paper fig, man. That's awesome. I've only ever found like four or five of these, if that. So that is awesome. How thick is that lip there? That's awesome. We got a little uh, moon snail and a paper fig right here. That is wicked. First finds of the day. Drop a like if you haven't already, guys. Let's see what else we can find on this fantastic day. Check out that beautiful sky. But then you look over there and it's pretty black and uh, cloudy. But uh, yeah, let's see what else we can find. I can't believe that. That was incredible. Nice little paper fig to start off the day. Alrighty, let's see what else we can First find. find of the day. Would you look at the size of this grape here? That's definitely one of the best ones. Wow. One of the best ones I ever found. Maybe not the best condition, but definitely the biggest. That is awesome. Nice. Awesome way to start off the video. We're at Alex Headland right now. So, it's a little bit different. Guys, look at that. That is a giant carrier shell. Oh my goodness, I love carrier shells, you guys. Let's check it out. Ew. Carrier shell number two for the day anyway. Wow, I love them so much. I just think they're the coolest thing. This is one of my biggest ever, if not the biggest. That's two for the day. Drop a massive thumbs up for that one. That is incredible. I freaking love carriers. Yes, it's beautiful. Nice. Absolutely stoked. You guys have never seen a worm shell quite like this. Look at this. That is huge. It's so odd. It's like all foiled together. Isn't that incredible? Definitely going to keep that one. And then I also spotted this tiny uh, bonnet shell here. Hopefully it's whole. Yeah. Nice. Tiny, tiny fella. Very cool. I reckon that one is so unique. They're definitely not like uh, conjoined together because I can feel them all moving. They've pretty much just wrapped around each other. It's super odd. Hopefully it can make it home in one piece. A ton of uh, sand dollars in here. Like that's a big one. Real nice. Whoa, carrier shell, yes. Oh wow, would you look at that thing stuck onto it. That is awesome. Oh, what the heck? Awesome. I think I'll take that, I like that pattern. But look at this carrier shell right here, what a surprise that was. That is awesome. That's a big piece of uh, barnacle or something. That's wicked. That might be my favorite one. Hopefully you guys can hear me right. It's really windy right now. And I'm just using my iPhone. What I used to film with. Look at that big sand dollar. Neat. Love that carrier shell. That's awesome. I just arrived as well. Won't be finding too many bean carries or sand dollars today. Uh, they're pretty boring. I'm kind of getting sick of them. And we've shown you guys a lot of them. So today we're mainly looking for cowrie shells and um, carrier shells, of course. I love my carrier shells. I only take a sand dollar if it's huge. 
fun piece. Oh wow! Oh, you scammed me. That's a shame. That would have been nice. I'm gonna come back to this pile here. Oh, hold on. There's a massive pile over here. Guaranteed to be carrying shells in here. Surely. Surely, you guys. So you want to dig in these parts here. That's where the good stuff gets hidden. A lot of sea sponge here. Dead sea sponge. Harry Triton. Yes. Nice. Tiny bit broken on the lip. Well, that's alright. Awesome. Wow, look at that. Big old red crab head. Nasty. I don't like them. It's just my uh, feelings. You guys collect them? Go for it. I'm not gonna shame you for it. What do we got? Oh, super old cowrie. Micro shelling in the afternoon. That was a nice one. Is that a beam? Oh wow, look at that. I know we're gonna show beans that's pretty cool. It's a beam stuck in a shell. Well, not stuck, it's just sitting there, but that's cool. All right, what about through here? There's a little cowrie. Nice. I'm not trying to go too fast, but I am trying to hurry it up as much as I can while trying to show you guys the awesome shells and find some cool shells uh, because the tide is rising. And that makes it harder to shell. Comment down below if you see anything that I don't. And subscribe to the channel, of course. Where's the carrier shells? Alright, I think we might head back to that pile in a moment. Let's come over here to this pile here. Anything in it? What's that? Little sea bush. A bit old. Too small. So many sand dollars though. Oh, there's a big bean. Won't show too much of that. Alright, we've got a nice little couple of piles here. What's that? Cowrie shell, of course. They're everywhere here. Nice. Not too much. much there. Let me take you guys to the pile. Ah, oh, striated cone top piece. It's harsh. No surprise it's broken though. The uh, swells and such are crazy. Blue cowrie. Wow, giant limpet shell. I love the limpets lately. I just think they're the coolest. Alright, let's head back down to the other side. This massive pile right here. Wow, we've got a big auger. That's pretty cool. I never find these ones. So that's nice, something different. This is a huge pile. I never come shelling here. Wow, look at all the red coral. I could get bucket loads of that right now. High as right now. Straight after that paper fig and uh, moon snail find, we have another moon snail sitting right down under here. Awesome. Yes. Nice. It's beautiful. Sweet. It's got a bit of texture to it as well. I like that one. Huh. Let's check out, our, check out what else we can find along here. What do we have? Oh. Tide's gone down a bit. Anything in there? Wow, it's full of sand today. All of this side is, honestly. That's wild. Let's check back here. What do we got? Anything stuck? Would you look at that? Sitting, waiting. How awesome is this? We got a clandestine, hopefully. Yes, awesome. Wow. 
That one is incredible. <laughs> nice find. Just sitting right out in the open right here. We're pretty far along the beach right now. Oh. Lucky. Sweet as. Clandestine. Let's go. All right, let's keep searching. It is crazy out today. This is the swell all day. It's about 0.5 meters right now. And I can't get anywhere close to the water. It's crazy out. Would you look at this shell pile here, guys? Let's go shelling in this. This is the biggest pile I've seen ever. Wow. Let's take a look what we can find in it. Oh my goodness. We gotta be quick because the tide is rising and this is the biggest pile I've ever seen of seashells. This is just incredible. Check it out. It's huge. Let's see what cool stuff we can find. I'm so glad I came down to the beach today. We got a nice little uh, snake head right there. This is just gigantic. It hurts bad to step on in it. Not only does it hurt pain wise, but uh, I'm crushing some shellies now. Wow, we got a really nice scallop there. All right, I gotta calm down. I gotta go slow and I gotta see what I can find. Ah! Don't take too many. All right. Is that a little scallop? It is. Nice. Wow. This is just incredible. Check out the swells today, guys. Huge right now. It's been like this for days and days. up behind here, check it out, see what we can find. It's just, look at this, you can dig all through it. It's incredible. This is just one little pile here. Wow, we are gonna have some fun today. I reckon it's gonna be a limpet day though, because there are tons of these right here. What is that other big one? Right there. Awesome. There's another one. I just, no, I Ah, oh, that would have been a nice yellow one. Dang. There's a snake head. Cool. Weeks ago, I found a giant carrier shell. It was like this big, but it was a type of carrier shell that didn't have too much on it. And that was just what it was like. And I think, yes, this is one of those. They don't really carry too much. Uh, mainly they just have a couple of pieces of like rock and such on the top there. But this one's a little bit broken so it's probably missing majority of what it had. But it's still really cool. Awesome. So we got a giant carrier shell. I was just walking back to the giant pile over there. And uh, spotted it out. Awesome. Pile has nearly washed away but you've still got a couple of goodies along here. So let's take a look. I must have come to the beach right at the perfect time to see that giant uh, shell pile. Oh, I love these worm shells when they're like piled together like that. I think they're so unique. I have no idea really what they're even called. I just call them worm shells. But uh, yeah, if you guys know, comment down below. What else do we got? Ah, uh, that hurts to see. Still trying to find my first geography. Oh no, not geography. Soldier cone. I've only found one other piece. Dang. I'll find it one day. We are looking for carrier shells though today. There's a nice color Mitra. Very nice. Is this what I think it is? It is. I, I only find these in Harvey Bay. Wow. Bigger ones, but cool. Got a bean carry there. I'm loving these piles right now. I'm so glad I came today. Got our bean carry. What's about around here? Ah, there's the piece I had earlier. Like a juvenile Arabian. Sweet. 
so hard to focus on the tiny shells, the swell behind me, the filming and trying to find some goodies. You've got to be careful today, it'll come out of nowhere on you. So many beans. I know you guys are sick of seeing the beans. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. <laughs> no, my piles. No. Uh, that wasn't nice. Oh. Oh, left with one pile, I guess. What do we got inside? A really nice Mitra. Wow. That's vibrant. Sweet. I guess there's still some shells here. Just scattered everywhere. Which I guess may help. There's a turkey wing. Don't see those often. I'm trying to find some shells. In here, not much. Tiny hairy triton right here. Wow, that's definitely the smallest one I've ever found. Not by much though. If you guys are new to the channel, I've found hairy tritons like that massive. So check out some of the other videos as well. What else can we find? I don't know if you guys are noticing all the sand dollars underneath all this stuff. Big old bit of um, DNA coral, which is nice. Awesome. DNA coral is actually hard to find. So that's a lucky little piece right there. Awesome. Got to be careful with that. I need to collect all of the, uh, what are they, bean carries that I'm seeing. I can't leave them. I'm trying to fill up a little case of them at home. So there's another one. Focus. It's so hard to focus them into the camera. Tell me that's not a bean carry. That thing's huge. What the heck? That is massive. I wonder it looks a bit old. I think we got a bit of a wave coming. Oh my. Yep. No! Not that pile. Oh, maybe it brought some more stuff in though. I didn't exactly take it. Got all these dry shells here. They've all been looked through already. Got a seriously old grape right here. Absolutely. I can tell by their teeth. Wow, that has seen things. Pretty cool. Little snakehead, a uh, broken snakehead. It's a shame. What do we got? Oh wow, that's a nice pile. Check that out in a second. Tiny bean cowrie right there, I love them. Look how colourful this is. Beautiful or what? I love when they're piled up like this. It's so nice. Ah, fishing wire. What the heck? Oh, thank God there's not a hook on that. I probably would have walked through it. It's just got a little swivel on it. Get that out the ocean. Seagulls? Not quite. Needs a bit more fermenting in the ocean. Or should I take it out? I think it'd be more and better finish beneficial for the ocean if I take it out. Definitely.
shell eggs. They got a bean. It's uh, shell egg casings. It's pretty cool. They all got holes in them though, so they've all been hatched, which is really cool. Good that they didn't wash up alive. All this stuff that you see in some cats sometimes. Sea sponge. It's dead though, so can't be saved. Guys, here is everything that we found in today's awesome episode of Shelling Down Under. We did exceptionally well, as you could see. We found a giant grape cowrie, two carrier shells, actually three, uh, a nice paper fig, a lot of limpets, a couple of little hairy tritons, which is really cool. Look how tiny this one is. Found this one today. That was incredible. Smallest one I ever found. Then we got a really decent sized carrier shell. Probably my favorite shell of the episode, I reckon. I did actually find this bonnet shell yesterday. Didn't film it. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's in the clip, but that was pretty sweet. I've never found a bonnet shell like that before. I think I've found pieces, but that is really nice. Definitely going in the case. We got a piece of DNA coral. Classic. Love it. What else we got? A big grape. That's awesome, found that the other day. This video is in a lot of parts, over a lot of days. Got a different piece of coral here. I don't think I filmed this one. It's kind of like DNA coral, but got a bunch of beans. We got a ton of beans. Nice clandestine and a lot of other stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, subscribe and thank you so much for the support.